Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the Daily Reminder. Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed all of us to be in this blessed month of Ramadan and He has blessed you guys to be watching this video this very moment. Now, in this blessed month of Ramadan, there are three stops or there are three stations that you don't ever want to miss. And subhanAllah, this is the mercy of this blessed month that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us these three stops or stations for this blessed month. The first station, the first stop comes where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَنْ قَامَ رَمَضَانْ إِيمَانًا وَاحْتِسَابًا غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدْمَ مَنْ زَمِنْ Whosoever does qiyam, i.e. taraweeh, in the month of Ramadan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shall forgive all of his previous sins. The second station is مَنْ صَامَ رَمَضَانْ إِيمَانًا وَاحْتِسَابًا غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ زَمْنِ Whosoever fasts in the month of Ramadan with Iman and hoping the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ زَمْنِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive all of his previous sins. And the third stop or station comes which is مَنْ قَامَ لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ إِيمَانًا وَاحْتِسَابًا غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَنْبِهِ Whosoever does qiyam or tahajjud and taraweeh on the night of Laylatul Qadr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shall forgive all of his previous sins. Now subhanallah, this is an amazing opportunity for all those that have committed tons of sins in the accord of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of us have committed sins, small sins, major sins, all the different variety of sins. But let us use this blessed month of Ramadan that where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, gives us three opportunities for us to rectify ourselves with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanallah. This is an amazing opportunity for those who have been thinking of coming back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and there is this reluctancy between them, you know, being ashamed of their sins. Here's an opportunity for you. So if you are in your first station, uh, if you're in your first station, which is Man Qama Ramadan, if you're doing Taraweeh, you can hope the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the month of Ramadan that He shall forgive your sins. Now, Taraweeh, if we look at it from this perspective, it no longer remains a sunnah for us, right? For we're all sinners. So rather than saying, Oh, it's just a sunnah, let me just pray the fard, imagine this if you say to yourself, I'm gonna pray Taraweeh, all of them this month, blessed month of Ramadan, hoping that at the end of it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to forgive all my sins. And how desperately do we all need our sins to be forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Then the second category over here is Man Samar. Every single person is going to be fasting. But if we fast with Iman, with not doing anything wrong in the fast, with staying away from what we're supposed to stay away. And then the reward comes in the form of غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَبْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive all of their previous sins. Subhanallah. And lastly, just one night, one night we need to put ourselves in hardships and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive. In reward of that one night, every single thing you and I have done in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters, the, the, the most important thing for us to remember, especially those that are thinking of coming back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that remember if you have committed a sin and you do not have the audacity to go and meet your parents with that sin, i.e. tell your parents about that sin. You feel ashamed telling your parents about that sin. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is far, far greater and for us to be afraid of. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's value should be far more greater than our parents. For indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is much more greater than you, me and our parents combined. So have this greatness, the sanctity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our minds and let us use this blessed month of Ramadan to rectify ourselves with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Donate now. Go to www.
thedailyreminder.org slash donate. And stay updated by joining our network's social links.